Tonight, I'm delighted that you're joining us for a special announcement about the family and from the family that brought us Davis Connects. From the family that made the Davis Science Center possible, and from the family that created the transformational Davis United World College Scholars Program, now, as the world changes before our eyes, Andrew Davis and his family have invested yet again, so Colby can continue to dare northward. Good evening, and thank you for joining us. Colby's long history is marked by moments of real prescience, times of foresight that allowed the college to create its own path and identity, its own important leadership profile in higher education. This was true in the 19th century when Colby students started the first collegiate abolitionist society, and when Colby became a co-educational institution 100 years before the other all-male colleges in the Northeast. It was equally true in the 20th century when the college made the bold move to Mayflower Hill. When it established the Colby College Museum of Art, the Lunder Institute for American Art in Davis Connects. When it created a leading program in environmental studies and became among the first colleges in the nation to achieve carbon neutrality. Tonight, we again look ahead and we now see a future where the power, capacity and ubiquity of machine learning and artificial intelligence will transform scholarship, teaching, and learning. It is a future, indeed a present, where carefully designed algorithms and self-learning machines speed the pace of progress, but also have potentially lasting and damaging effects on individuals and societies. This future cannot be left to technologists. It has to be shaped by those who have a keen understanding of history and culture, by those who have sharply honed critical thinking abilities that allow them to comprehend and anticipate consequences, by those whose humanistic lenses reveal how progress and change can serve a larger good or how it can foster inequities, division, and destruction. The future of technology has to be guided by smart, sensible, and ethical people and actions. The world needs Colby graduates to shape this future. And that's exactly what will happen, thanks to a remarkable gift from Andrew Davis, class of 1985, and his family. Tonight, we're announcing the establishment of the Davis Institute for Artificial Intelligence, the first major academic and research program of its kind at a liberal arts college. With an endowed gift of $30 million, Andrew is allowing Colby to create a novel and broadly influential approach to AI. We will immediately launch an international search for the founding director and then hire an initial cohort of six additional professors who will bring expertise in AI and machine learning in a variety of disciplines. These appointments will be in computer science, of course, where our students and faculty will be creating next generation programs and systems. And, and this is important, they will also be in fields such as sociology, where the application of AI tools will better help us understand and predict global immigration trends and their impact. In English literature, where machine learning allows for textual analysis across millions of printed volumes. In government, where new tools are needed to replace polling to understand trends and predispositions. In chemistry, in environmental studies, where our investigation of the oceans remains in its infancy, or in astrophysics, where questions of the origins of life itself and the future of Earth and our planets are still to be answered. These are but a few examples, and our faculty and students will undoubtedly be working on other ways in which AI will shape our society, including through genomics and biomedical advances, economics and finance, and so much more. Our newly recruited colleagues will join an extraordinary group of Colby faculty who are already using and developing the tools of AI. And the Davis Institute will have funding for our faculty who wish to utilize AI applications in their courses and research and for students who are ready to challenge conventional approaches to solving the toughest problems. This Institute will host visiting faculty and students from colleges around the country who are looking to retool their skills or grow their programs on their home campuses. 
the Davis Institute will become a national center for the teaching and learning of AI and the liberal arts, and for research that deepens understanding and accelerates progress for the common good. It will also be an essential component of a thriving innovation ecosystem in Waterville. We cannot be bystanders to this truly revolutionary moment of technological change and impact. A Colby education forever and always rooted in the traditional liberal arts must also be a fountain of invention, persistently and restlessly relevant and always providing our graduates with exceptional opportunities to fuel their futures and make a lasting global impact. Andrew Davis knows this and has already made such a difference at this great college. He has been a devoted friend to Colby and I can't imagine, I just cannot imagine a better partner in creating this institute. He challenges us to think bigger, to innovate more quickly, to lead unabashedly. Indeed, this gift has also catapulted Colby's campaign, Dare Northward, past the $600 million mark. The impact of the campaign is here, it is now. Andrew, to you and your family, I can never adequately express my thanks, but you have my abiding commitment that the Davis Institute will strengthen your alma mater. It will provide our students with opportunities unavailable at any other college. It will support our amazing faculty and it will ultimately change the course of the liberal arts in the world for the better. The Colby community thanks you, Andrew. And let me ask you if you'd be willing to say a few words. Hi, David. Uh, listen, thank you. Um, you and I have talked a long time now about uh, the impact that AI could have at Colby. And you've already spoken quite eloquently to the ubiquitous nature of AI across the world's manufacturing and service economies. And also, and very importantly, in almost every field in the under and graduate field of studies. You see it everywhere now. And you see it coming faster and faster. And frankly, our faculty and our students have to be a part of that. So in my mind, it's logical that liberal arts lead the charge into AI and really fitting that Colby lead the way. I really look forward not only to seeing what our students and faculty can do in the near term, but I wonder what we haven't even thought of. And I wonder what we will see in the next decades to come. So David, listen, it's a pleasure. It's always a pleasure to, uh, to support Colby. The work you've done is outstanding and thank you very much. Andrew, the absolute best. You just unbelievable. In the great class of 1985, what you have done is so beyond inspiring. I hope you'll all stay with us for a few minutes because I want you to watch a short video that's gonna further illustrate the possibilities that you, Andrew, have created. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Silicon Valley could use a breath of fresh main air. Can machine learning predict atmospheric change? Could we use artificial intelligence to find a cancer mutation among 3.2 billion base pairs? How do we make algorithms less biased? The questions are limitless. And now the answers will come from Colby. The new Davis Institute for Artificial Intelligence will merge tomorrow's computational modeling with a timeless liberal arts approach, blending rigorous scientific inquiry with a nuanced humanistic perspective. Biomedical research, climate change, economic forecasting, issues of inequality, healthcare, education, and democracy. The world's most respected scholars and researchers will convene in Waterville, working with Colby students to analyze these issues and develop solutions. We've always dared to create new knowledge and solve problems. Now we'll be the college others turn to for smart, sensible, and ethical AI. Introducing the Davis Institute for Artificial Intelligence at Colby College. Thank you, Andrew and Davis family, for all the ways in which you continue to empower generations of Kobe students with multicultural experiences via the Davis UWC scholarships, global internship and research experiences via Davis Connects, immersion in STEM fields via the Davis Science Center, 
and now this incredible opportunity for interdisciplinary exploration of artificial intelligence via a new institute at Kobe. In a world where every surface, product, business model, and increasingly even interaction is powered and connected via technology, artificial intelligence has become the defining trend of our time. Research shows that the number of organizations embedding at least one AI capability into their business processes more than doubled within the past year. And nearly every type of organization reports that they achieved some level of value from the infusion of AI. With widespread adoption of ubiquitous computing and the democratization of AI in business and society comes a responsibility to all of us to shape and share these opportunities and address the challenges that come with innovation in this space. With this incredible gift to found the Institute for Artificial Intelligence at Kobe, our community is now exemplarily poised to bring the best of the liberal arts approach to develop the talent and skills needed to tackle these challenges and opportunities. Thank you again from the bottom of my heart, first for the very personal gift of Davis Scholarship that brought me into this Kobe community, and now for your visionary leadership driving us forward in this immensely critical field. Thank you. Staying on the cutting edge of a quickly moving field like AI requires constant retooling. And so what I'm really excited about is having Colby be a center of where that happens and where that happens in a way that is informed by and helps to inform the liberal arts. So the kind of broader realm of what we as human beings think about. There are several large surveys coming down the pipeline that are going to rely on machine learning. And so it's really exciting to think that students at Colby as undergrads will have the opportunity to, to analyze these data sets. I'm a biostatistician and that means that I pretty much look at any application you can imagine in the biological or medical sciences. But I have projects that are coming from all over the place and this, this would allow me to to get projects from government and sociology and still be getting projects from biology and medicine. Having an artificial intelligence institute at Colby is going to do so much to enrich the work that we do here um, with our research, with our students. Thank you to the Davis family. Bravo, our friend, from the Lunders and Colby. We assure you that Colby will make you and the Davis family most proud. I wholeheartedly thank the Davis family for the inspiration they keep providing to thousands of kids like me around the world. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you again. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm forever grateful. We thank you, your family, on behalf of all the Colby students, the future leaders of our country and our world. And cannot wait Till we can be back on campus and I can give both of you a big hug. Till then, we send our love to you both. Wow. <laughs>